Hello ClickBank community. In the following video, we will show you how to add a new reoccurring or subscription product to your account. You can find the My Products screen under the Settings tab. On the right hand side where it says Add New, you have four options. For today's video, we will select Product. Setting up a recurring product is much like setting up a standard product with a few differences. When you click the link, you will see a drop down box. Click the box to view the options and select Recurring Digital. Then you will be directed to the Create a New Product screen where you will need to complete the form. First, select the product type that best describes your product. For reoccurring products, this is usually a website membership. At this point, the system will automatically assign an item number to your product. You can edit this number. It can include letters, numbers, and dashes. Enter the product details. The title of your product will be visible to customers on the order form. Select the language of the product. At this point, we will skip the image box. We will discuss how to add images in another video. Next, provide a description of the product that will be displayed on the order form. Add a pitch page URL. This is your sales page. Product pricing and commission. You can select the currency that your product is sold in. However, all transactions are reported in your account in US dollars. You can also allow customers to select the currency on the order and to have the order form currency default in their local currency. Now you need to complete the information for the initial product. The initial price can be different from the recurring price. For example, if you wanted to offer a $1 trial, the initial price would be one. The commission rate can be set from one to 75%. If you want to offer a higher commission, please contact us. The allow commission tiers to override these settings box must be checked if you want to offer affiliates different rates for promoting the same product. For example, affiliates who drive more traffic could be added to a whitelist to receive a higher commission than other affiliates. The whitelist commission tiers will not override this commission rate if the box is not checked. Now, enter information about the reoccurring piece of the product. Here you can use the same information as the initial product, or you can add new information. This allows you to bundle or combine two products. For example, your initial product title could be the name of an ebook, while the title of your reoccurring product could be the name of your membership site. When a customer buys this product, the initial purchase is the ebook and they are essentially receiving the reoccurring product free for the first month. Now you can set the price for the reoccurring product. You can also set a different commission rate for the reoccurring charges. For instance, the initial commission could be 50% while the reoccurring piece is 25%. Again, you can decide if you want your commission tiers to override this commission rate. Next, select the frequency or how often you want to rebill your customers. Next, you can decide when a customer will receive a notification of their next rebill. Although this can be turned off, we highly recommend you do not do so. When customers do not receive a notification about a rebill, they may think the order is unauthorized or fraudulent, causing refunds and chargebacks. Next, Determine the length of the subscription. This can be set from two to 900 cycles. If you want the membership to continue until canceled, select unlimited duration. Next, if you want to offer a trial period, enter the number of days here. If you do not want to offer a trial period, leave this blank and your customers will be billed according to the frequency you set. The last selection, the last section allows you to upload one file that will be delivered by ClickBank. At this time, we do not allow audio or visual uploads. You can also provide a thank you page URL 
and deliver your product directly to your customer, which is most common with reoccurring products since they oftentimes require a username and password. Now that the form is complete, save the changes. Your product has not been submitted for approval yet. To submit your product, click Approval Request Required. Once you complete and submit this form, you will see the status of your product change to pending approval. The approval process can take three to five business days. Please log into your account regularly to see if your ticket has been updated. If the approval specialist has questions or requests changes, this is where you need to reply. When your product is approved, this box will turn green and we will send a link to pay the activation fee if this is your first product. More information on how to add first reoccurring products can be found in the Knowledge Base article, Reoccurring Billing, Subscription, and Membership Products. Thanks for tuning in.